Hey guys, it's Magda, and today I have a special guest, Lily. Meow. And today we're going to be showing you how to make a flower out of a water bottle. And these actually come out really cool, and it's actually a way of recycling plastic water bottles. Yeah. So you can use a normal really water bottle and like just cut it right here, or you can use like the smaller ones. And like just cut the bottom off, yeah. which that's what we're doing today because we didn't feel like drinking a whole giant water bottle. She just poured her water into her other water bottle. Yeah, and then Cheater. we also <laughs> need uh, scissors, mm -hmm. paint brushes, and some paints. We pre mixed ours so that you guys wouldn't have to wait. Yeah, because there was a lot of mixing involved. Yep. Especially for mine. Yeah. Tee hee. Okay. So the first thing you need to do is you need to get your scissors somehow like just cut about this much. Okay, and then you got it through. So you got it through, just I keep did. cutting all around. So you get the whole bottom off. And make sure to keep your cap on because if you cut the bottom off and then you put your cap on, then it's going to be a little bit harder to do. Mine just kind of, yeah. And then you can, if you have like some weird edges, then you can just trim it. Oops, I have to paint over, so. And you can like cut it. Lower, higher, however, wherever you like. Okay, can you just wait till the end for after you finished your painting and then Yeah, you could do that too. Leaves. Petals, you mean. Petals, yeah. So, this is how it's supposed to look like. I can't cut. Don't blame me. And so then you want to take your paint. Whoa, is that some? Okay, whatever. And just put your things on the side. You could also use this to hold your paint in, which is what, <coughs> what I also use sometimes. And then so you want to take your paintbrush. Yeah. And you want to take your paint. And you want to take some and start painting. Do it in a downward stroke and then continue until the, year, the whole bottle is painted. Okay guys, so we have finished. They still need to dry a bit and um, I made like a little ombre effect. Can't really see it on camera but it's like lightest and it's getting quite dark. And then, Lily, you can tell how you did yours. Um, I started off by doing uh, pink, um, halfway, then dark, and then I added an in the middle sort of color to even out the ombre. And just a tip, guys, don't fan it around, because that actually doesn't help. It'll just make your hand hurt, so that doesn't really and help. And sometimes it. it moves the paint. So yeah, it sometimes it moves the paint, so it, like, splatters, and it might splatter onto, like, your surface or your table. Yeah. So we'll see you guys when it is dry. So, guys, the, the, um, the bottles are starting to dry, and just saying you guys can add two layers which is what I think I will do. And Lily, do you think you'll do two layers? I'm Cause it gives it a more vibrant color. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. And also, if you guys end up doing something like us, um, when you're adding different, a lot of colors to this, then you wanna be careful while you're like holding it. Because if you're trying to rotate it in your hand, that's kind of hard. Because you you don't want to like accidentally take off paint. And a tip that I figured out: just go like this, and you can get it easily. 
Yeah, so with your non-dominant hand, and then with the other one, you can just... And then with your dominant hold, hand, you can just hold paint the paintbrush and paint. And another way, you can just hold it by the cap, just like move it around, which is what I use, too. So we'll see you when we're done with our second coat, whoops, and it is all dry. Now that we have our bottles all dried, now we're going to choose how big we want our petals to be so what you want to do is you want to cut i don't think mine is big like a little bit before the actual end of the bottle which is here you want to you want to make sure you don't cut it here like about here yeah so somewhere maybe mm -hmm. Okay, no. that was mine. Not not that far. I'm gonna just go for it. Someone loves me. A little bit more. There it is. Yep. You can make thin ones, you can make thick ones. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. I don't know how big I want these to be. Why are you making me do this? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to get them as straight as possible. Oh my god, it got too hard up here. Wait, how far should I go? I guess here for me would be okay. Should I go a little farther up? You can stop there. You can go up as far as you want. I still have wet paint. Kind of risk. Um, just the right thing. There it is. And once you have all of them cut up, you want to make a fist, you want to put it in, you want to push all the way. And all of them should just like pop out, like that. And then you want to take your thumb and push each one out. Which involves you turning your hand. Wow. Yes. You might need to use your index finger to like let it cook. I'm making some of these thin and some of these like thick. I and because because flowers aren't perfect. Once you have it like this, you can round you your edges as bank as you want. Petals can be as bank as you want. It doesn't even matter. could just do that to all of your petals and it'll turn out pretty nice so we'll see you with the finishing results okay so now we're done this is how mine turned out this is how mine turned out I and made my petals really weird oh, but cool. I like it and now we're gonna show a little how bit of how I'm gonna uh, put mine onto my door. This is the final result. Mm -hmm. Be sure to subscribe to me and Lily Meow, which is Lily's channel, and follow us on our Instagram. Like, subscribe, comment down below what y'all DIYs you would like us to see to do next. Bye!